Good morning and welcome back to Meeting Online. We have had a wonderful three months of practicing outside in many beautiful places in Calgary. And uh, today it's wet and cold, so we're back to Meeting Online. Um, stay in touch at calgarymindfulness.ca. I'll be posting the locations of uh, indoor meditations. We'll be doing that twice a month would be wonderful to meet you in person if you're able to join. Before we begin, I'm going to respond to a couple of the questions that I've received from participants in this group, and also to remind you that this meditation is now released as a podcast on any of your favorite podcasting um, um, tools like Google Podcast or iTunes. So please go ahead and subscribe to that if you'd like to have this um, delivered straight to your phone. So the first question I get when people want to start meditating in September is what's the best kind of meditation? And uh, there are many schools of thought, many disciplines with um, a lot of time research uh, invested in this particular discipline. And I'm not going to address any of those. What I'm going to say is the best type of meditation is what works for you, what you actually can get done. So as you continue to practice, you will have a developing sense of what works for you. Follow your intuition and go with it. Uh, generally seek some guidance. Sit with a teacher or a group that, where you feel pretty good. Uh, comfortable mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, so that would be the best starting point. The second question I have is how can I manage everything? I need to meditate so I can fit more in. And of course, meditating doesn't make us robots. And often I am asked this by parents, if my children meditate, can they do better on tests? So that is one potential outcome, but that is not the purpose, and that is a long way off. From my perspective, the purpose of our meditating is to clear our busy minds and bodies so that we can be mostly focused all day long, no matter what we're doing. If you're a surgeon, if you're cleaning your own toilet, whatever you're doing, your focus deeply should be on clearing the clutter of mind and body so that you can give and receive love openly. And we do this with forgiveness. So that's my take on this situation. That is my um, aim in meditating is to develop equanimity, compassion, and focus for this ultimate goal of giving and receiving love and forgiveness in all of our relations, all the time. So our work together isn't about neutering our minds and hearts so that we can get more stuff done. That would be, in my perspective, an approach that is punitive and not helpful and doesn't connect us to the bigger goal. Please feel free to submit any more questions. I really really love hearing from you. Let's begin by getting into the mindful body, looking for a pose that is strong and straight, but relaxed enough, calling to mind the image of a tree that can sway easily with the wind. And moving on to our second anchor, taking a deep breath into that strong posture. With each breath in, we remind ourselves that our true strength within is much greater than what it may appear externally. That we have great reserves of compassion, of strength, of discipline, of hope, 
and love and forgiveness. And by settling into the body, listening and feeling the breath, feeling the strength of the body, we remind ourselves of this great connection we have to life. And of the ability we have to navigate the problems that arise. This ability, of course, multiplies exponentially when we tap into the power of love and forgiveness that is always available to us. Aiming to make that our default in all relationships, in all interactions. Holding ourselves accountable to delivering highest and best for ourselves and others at all times. And reminding ourselves that we don't have to be an important person in society standards to get that mission done. So just breathing in deeply and reminding ourselves of these truths. Breathing in deeply to the strong, straight body. This may be a body we are consistently punishing with thoughts of, I should be different. I should be more. I should be more beautiful, richer, successful. So we put those thoughts aside right now. And it is delicious. It is freeing to lay aside those judgments and expectations that serve no purpose and don't help us achieve our greater goals. How wonderful it is to lay that down and stay connected to what's true and what's real. As we continue to breathe and uh, think and unthink on our theme today, Let's notice any sense of relief that arises in the body as we give ourselves freedom to put aside the expectations we may have been punishing ourselves with for a little while, if you're a younger person, for decades, if you're as old as me. It's never too late to start again. Every breath is the opportunity for renewal for a fresh start, for reconnecting to our higher purpose, for giving and receiving love and forgiveness. And as we continue to practice, eyes open or closed, whatever you are called to. Noticing any places of resistance or tension within the body. 
Let's take a deep breath and allow each of those places to relax just a little more deeply. Noticing where your feet and sit bones are planted onto the floor or mat. Or your whole body if you're lying down. And just sinking more deeply into our mat or bed. Taking a couple breaths in. And with each exhalation, we sink more deeply into this posture relaxed and strong. Inhale deeply. As we exhale, let's relax the abdomen. Letting it all hang out. Let's stop and give the belly a little rub. The abdomen is often where we will store uh, tension or stress or trauma that's related to survival, safety, shame, fear. And as you know, the digestive tract houses many neurons. and kicks into gear our flight fight response system sometimes before the brain can get everything logical online so let's let's envelop this area in our loving kindness allowing the belly to relax deeply reminding the body that we are safe We are enough as we are. We have nothing to fix, nothing to change before we can be happy, before we can give and receive love. Reminding the belly that any shame we're holding on to interferes with our ability to give and receive love. So let's lay that down. Whatever thoughts arise, offer them with a breath in and release. They continue to arise. They may be decades old patterns of shame and fear. Our job is to pay attention as they arise. We inhale deeply to acknowledge and face their presence. And exhale to release. Each exhalation is a commitment to our higher purpose to give and receive love freely. Let's do the same for the hands, relaxing the hands. Hands that help, hands that heal, hands that serve. 
hands that make beautiful things and contribute. Contribute to a beautiful and positive and healthy world. Allowing them to relax beside you or in your lap. Inhaling deeply and exhaling any tension with each exhalation. Bringing our awareness up to the shoulders. Shoulders tend to be where we store the tension of, I'm too busy. So let's lift and lower, just raise and release. Inhaling again and noticing the feeling of the shoulders relaxed but the body strong and straight. With each inhalation, we observe the need to get too much stuff done. My list is too long. I won't be good enough until I finish this list. So let's exhale that false and unhelpful expectation. And releasing that burden from the shoulders. Again, inhaling and releasing any sense of burden we feel to get more stuff done to be enough. Taking a moment to observe and unpack that expectation for however it flavors your particular life. If I don't get enough stuff done, I'm not ambitious enough. I'm wasting my time. If I don't get enough stuff done, I don't have enough control over my life. I don't get enough stuff done. Nobody thinks I'm worthy. So however this false expectation flavors your life, let's inhale to acknowledge it there. And face it with equanimity and compassion. And let's exhale to release. Reminding ourselves with compassion that that's a long process if you have been doing that for decades. And so let's allow the relaxed body, the strong body, and the deep breath to be our trigger for this uh, compassion, equanimity, and release. making a commitment over the week to come back to this wonderful place daily or as frequently as we can. When you're driving, when you're doing dishes, when you're waiting at the elevator, waiting in a, a long checkout line at the grocery store, inhaling deeply into the mindful body, noticing what we feel we have to get done where we feel we're not safe or strong enough. And exhaling that as part of our commitment to giving highest and best to self and others by dedicating our thoughts and conscious and subconscious lives to the flow of love and forgiveness. Uh, 
reminding ourselves that no thought or action is too small or insignificant to be dedicated toward this immense cosmic goal. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.